Hey guys, it's Eddie the Magic Monk. Cannot believe we are now up to lesson 9 in surveying. So we've already done 8 lessons on it. How cool is that? So last lesson we talked about plane table surveying. So you're probably wondering, well, isn't that it? Why are we talking about it again? Right? Everyone's always asking, why are we doing it again? Um, because plane table surveying, there are three different methods, okay? Last lesson, we talked about intersection and triangulation. These are the same thing. So this is one method, okay? Method number one, using intersection and triangulation. Hopefully, you still understand what that means. But if you don't, I'm going to write a little summary here for you right now. It is when the lines of sight to key features are drawn from both ends of the survey line. So if you guys can remember, there are there's a survey line going from A to B. And for example, there was a point X or and another point Y that we're trying to find the that we're trying to draw a map of. You will draw a straight line from um, you draw a straight line to these points from both ends of the survey line. So from A to Y, from B to Y, and so on. So if there's a new point, it's called a Z, you'll draw a line from A to Z, and you'll draw a line from B to Z. So that's basically the intersection method. So the other method, the other two methods actually, that we're going to do is called radiation method. Right, sounds like uh, you know some crazy thing involving radiation, but n that's not what it is. And then um, step, sorry, method three is called traversing. Sounds very hard, but I'm just going to show you what it is, so we'll make it easy for you. So radiation is basically a method that you use when the area is very small because otherwise it's very time consuming. So let's say in this case there's a there's a point called X, there's a point called Y, and there's a point called Z, and we're trying to map out this area. What you would do is you would find somewhere that is close to these three points so let's call this point A, and you would put a plain table, you would put a table at point A. You would put a table at point A, and on the table, you're going to have a piece of paper. And on this piece of paper, okay, you're going to have a point. You're going to have a point. So this is now a piece of paper that is on the table. You're going to have a point called A dash that represents point A. Okay, so on this piece of paper, you're going to use the sight rule again. If you guys remember the sight rule, that's just a ruler with a um, pin on both ends. So it helps you to aim at certain points. So you're going to aim at point Z. So you're going to aim this ruler at point Z. And as you aim at point Z, you're going to draw a line across it. So the line will show up on the piece of paper to point Z. And then you're going to do the same to point X, to point Y. So there's going to be a few lines to these points. So draw a line to point X, draw a line to point Y. Now here is the tiring thing that the surveyor has to do, is the surveyor has to physically walk from point A to point Z and actually measure using a tape measure or a trundle wheel or something, measure this distance and actually go from point A to point X walk from point A to point X and measure this distance and walk from point A to point Y and measure this distance and make sure that when they draw the lines on the paper that the scale matches 
the distances. So, for example, let's say this is ten meters, nine meters, twelve meters. Then, on the piece of paper where they draw these lines, they have to make sure they have to make sure that the lines are drawn at a particular scale. So, let's say they choose a scale of one to a hundred. Then the actual distances on the piece of paper will have to match. So, for example, this will be ten centimeters. This will be nine centimeters. This will be twelve centimeters, and they'll mark these points on the on the piece of paper as well with a little、um, dash on the paper. Okay, to represent that these points are the clone of these points, so that is called radiation survey. To sum it up, radiation is when lines of sight to key features. So these lines, okay, they're drawn from one point only. So what's the difference? Well, if you guys remember the intersection method, we put the table over here. We put the table over here. We draw the lines of sight to all of these points, but because we have already measured the point, <clears throat> the distance from A to B, we don't have to measure any other lines. Whereas with this one, we have to physically measure. Okay, the surveyor has to go and measure all of these lines, and it's a lot more tiring. So it only work. It can only be used when the area is smaller. Okay, so that's.、Um, The radiation method. Okay, now we're gonna do the traversing method. Traversing method. So, what is the traversing method? Take a guess. What is the only possible option left? The table is moved to each feature, and the lines of sight are drawn at each location. So that is also quite a tiring method. Um, so basically, what it means is, if we had point X, point Y, point Z, for example, you would start off putting the plane table at point Y. You're going to draw the line of sight to point X, to point Z. You're going to actually measure these distances as you move the table to point X with the piece of paper on it. Okay. So let's say,、um, let's just show you what the piece of paper is going to look like. So, because I was at point Y, I was at point Y. So, let's say on the piece of paper, oops, on the piece of paper, I have. Oh, it's so hard to draw something. On the piece of paper, I have point representing Y. So I call it Y dash. I have drawn this point and this point. So I've drawn,、uh, sorry, not point. This line and this line. Okay. So what happens is, as you move the table, you physically move the table to point X. The piece of paper. What happens is, you're going to make sure when you are at point X that you use a sight rule pointing towards point Y to make sure. Okay, so remember the sight rule. You're gonna point the sight rule at point Y to make sure that your on your piece of paper, this line matches what is on the sight rule. Okay, so、um, when this line is aligned with the sight rule, that means that your table is sitting in the right position. Uh, pointing at line Y, and then you can draw a line to Z, and then you also have to measure. You also have to measure the distance from X dash to Z dash. So basically, you would be moving the plane table to all of these points and making sure, using the sight rule, that. The、um, using the sight rule to make sure that the lines that you have drawn matches the lines that、um, are on the are on the map. 
Okay, so that is called the traversing survey, a uh, traversing table, plane table surveying method. So there are three methods which you need to make sure that you understand. And next lesson, we're going to do a few mathematical problems using these three um, different types of sur surveying methods. Okay, thanks for watching. See you next time. Thank you.